Welcome to the part 2 of our lecture video in fluid mechanics under the topic statical stability of floating bodies. So in this video, we will solve the sample problems number 4 and 5. So for problem number 4, an empty open top barge 3 meters by 3 meters by 1 meter high floats in water at a draft of 0 0.6 meters so that is 0 0.6 meters so we forgot to put there m determine the value of load p in kilonewton so when applied 7 or 0.75 meter off the center to cause one end or the top to be just submerged in water surface and then b determine the value of load p when it is applied on one edge of the barge that will cause one end to be just submerged in water surface. So there is uh, two situations here. So we have here the open uh, an empty open top barge 3 meters by 3 meters by 1 meter high. So the uh, dimension here is uh, 3 meters for the base and then it is 3 meters long as well so 3 meters for the base and then it is 1 meter high so it is 1 meter It flows in water at a draft of 0 0.6 meters. So it's floating with a draft of 0 0.6 meter. So this is 0 0.6 meter and then the upper part will become 0 0.4 meter. So looking at the uh, initial position, the upright position, this is our uh, center of gravity. So let's put here the center of gravity G. The center of buoyancy B sub O. So having the B sub O here as half, right? So this half of the draft. So 0.3 then point three. So determine the value of load P in kilonewton when it is applied 0 0.75 so it says 0 0.75 meter off the center. So there is an additional load P. Additional load P that is 0 0.75. So let's have the load here so this is our load P so this is P for the uh, example A uh, for the uh, first situation P A so P. and this is 0 0.75 it says there is uh, 0.75 from the center here 0.75 from the center so since we are introduced a load P what will happen here is that from this original position with the introduction of load P, what will happen to our uh, uh, empty barge in the upright position? Of course, it will it will submerge for a certain portion. So there is an additional load P here. This okay, so additional load P. With that additional load, okay, 
Okay, so from this original uh, water line section, so this is our original water line section. So, yeah. so this is the additional displacement. There will be an additional displacement in here. So let's name the uh, additional displacement here as um, the uh, the draft there as x. So let's name that as x. Therefore, at the top, so originally that is 0.4 for the top portion, that becomes now 0 0.4 minus x. Okay. Now, uh, since it says there, okay, uh, so. Let's uh, emphasize here for our buoyant force. So this is our original buoyant force. And that is equal to the weight of the barge. Now this time for the buoyant force here, for the second uh, drawing, that is P plus W. Okay. Right? So it says here when the force P is applied 0.75 meter off the center, it causes one end or the top so it causes the one end here, so this corner here, to be just submerged in, or be just submerged in water section. So here. So what will happen there is that. Okay. Let's not use that. Uh, So this is the uh, 0 0.4 minus x, right? In the height of this wedge is 0 0.4 minus x. So this is the wedge. So this is now our buoyant force prime. So this is our BF prime. BF prime. So, what's the value for P? Let's solve for the uh, P first. For letter A, P is equal to gamma, uh, the new displaced volume. So, the gamma water. So, P is 9.81 times the new displacement. So, that is uh, 3 meters. So, this is 3 meters here. So, 3 meters for the base, 3 meters long, and then the displace, uh, the draft there is x. Therefore, P is equal to 88.29x. So, using the theory of the wedge shift, so theory of wedge shift as discussed in the part one of this uh, lecture so looking at the uh, tilted position so p times the uh, distance or the displacement or the uh, p times the displacement or the distance d is equal to the buoyant force uh, of the wedge then two thirds of the base. So from the theory of the wedge shift. But first, let's find the value of BF prime. So BF prime is equal to the uh, gamma of the water and then the volume of the wedge. Gamma water and then volume of wedge. that is equal to 9.81 and volume of the wedge is one half the base is the base of the triangle here so we're looking at this triangle here 
So, 1 half base, which is 3 divided by 2, times the height, which is 0 0.4 minus A, X, times the length of 3. So, BF prime is equal to 22.07 times 0 0.4 minus X. And then, going to this theory of our wedge shift. So, P. Our P a while ago is 88. 0.29x times the distance of 0.75 from the center equals the BF prime of 22.07 0 0.4 minus x and then the two-thirds of base base being 3 so what's now the value of x 88.29 alpha x times 0.75 alpha equals 22.07.4 minus alpha x and then two thirds of uh, two thirds of three or that is three right two thirds of three ship salt so x is equal to 0 0.16 so x is equal to 0. 16 meter that is the draft right therefore we can now have the value of p as 88.29 0 0.16 and that is equal to 14.126 kilo newton so that's for letter a let's go to letter b determine the value of load p in kilonewton applied on one edge of the barge that will cause one end to be just submerged in water section so the uh, next here the p that we're looking for is this one this p here this is the p for letter b so what is our uh, We'll, we're going to use the again the theory of the wedge shift okay so pd equals bf prime two thirds b so our p is 88 so 88.29x and then the distance there is 1.5 right because from the center this p here is uh, 1.5 so that is equal to 22.07 0 0.4 minus x 2 thirds of 3 so what's the value now for x so let's change this into 1.5 shift so point zero or that is let's say point one x is point one so p is 88.29 times point one so that is equal to 8.829 kilonewton so that's for letter B and so this is number four. Okay. Let's go now to the last example in this video, number five. A barge seven meters wide, three point six meters high, fifteen meters long floats vertically while transporting in fresh water a total load of 1,300 kilonewton weight of barge and cargo so one three so 1,300 kilonewton is equal to weight of barge plus the weight of the cargo 
if a weight of 75 kilonewton, part of the total load, is shifted a horizontal distance of 2 meters to the right side, it will cause the barge to go down by 40 centimeters in the wedge of immersion and also 40 centimeters in the corresponding wedge of immersion. Letter A, determine the location of the center of buoyancy from the bottom of the barge and from the right side portion of the barge or the final position. And B, determine the metacentric height. Okay, so again, there is no figure in this example. So we need to, uh, to uh, imagine or visualize it. So a barge having the dimension of 7 meters wide, 3.6 meters high, and then 15 meters long floats vertically in fresh water. So, so we can have it here, 3.6 3 meters high. So 3.6 meters high. The width here is 7 meters. That's the width. And there is no given value for the draft. So the draft here is unknown. Then given the load it's carrying, the weight being 1,300 kilonewton. Okay. So first determine the location of the center of buoyancy from the bottom of the barge center of buoyancy from the bottom of the barge and from the right side portion of the barge on the final position okay so we're looking for the location of the center of buoyancy on the final location so here it is so from this center of buoyancy shifting to this center of buoyancy so there is a shift of uh, sideways shifting so this is our x right? and determine the location so we're looking for the location of the center of buoyancy so that means we're looking for Okay, the, the location of the center of buoyancy from the bottom so here it is from the bottom and then let's name that as bar y and from the right side portion of the barge so this is our right side portion So this is x bar so we're looking for the y bar and the x bar and we have formula for that so again uh, this is the the situation there is a weight of 75 kilonewton shifted a horizontal distance of two meters so shifted two meters from the center we have 75 kilonewton taken from the original one three therefore the weight left on the center of gravity is now 1225 now for the formula for the y bar for letter a so here are the here are the formula y bar is equal to the draft divided by 2 plus the base squared tangent squared theta divided by 24 of the draft so that's the formula for y bar now how about how about for the x bar x bar is equal to b over 2 minus b squared tangent theta all over 12 times the draft so that's for the X bar there. so we don't have the value for D 
for D, there's no value. How about theta? There's no value for the theta. Now let's find the value for the uh, D. So given from, from this uh, initial position, we can find the value of D. Given buoyant force is equal to the weight. So we have the buoyant force here, the displacement, or the, the gamma water times the displacement. So that is 9.81 times the volume displaced. That is the draft force multiplied with the base and the length, the length of uh, this um, barge. So that is 15 meters. And the weight? is 1300 so we can have now the value for d as 1.26 meter now how about the theta so where can we find the theta so from the tilted position so this is the uh, angle theta and since this is our original water line this is our original water line here so the tilt causes an angle theta here and this is 0 0.4 okay. so it says here the uh, immersion is 0.40 meter because 40 centimeter and 40 centimeter 40 centimeter down for the wedge of immersion so this is 40 centimeter for the wedge of immersion and 40 centimeter in the corresponding uh, wedge of immersion so 0 0.4 here so it's equal so 0 0.4 therefore we can have this triangle here this is our right triangle <coughs> So this is now our right triangle this is 0 0.4 meter and this is 7 divided by 2 this is 3.5 and this is the theta therefore we have here tangent theta equals 0 0.4 divided by 3.5 so theta is equal to 7. shift tangent 0.4 over 3.5 so that is 6.52 6.52 degrees therefore we can now have the y bar the y bar equals d 1.26 divided by 2 plus the base of 7 squared tangent squared theta 6.52 divided by 24 times 1.26 so y bar now equal to 1.26 over 2 plus 7 squared tangent 6.52 squared all over 24 times 1.26 so 0 0.65 0 0.65 meter for the y bar and then for the x bar is b divided by 2 7 over 2 minus 7 squared tangent 6.52 divided by 12 times 1.6 that is equal to 3.5 minus 7 squared tangent 6.52 over 12 times 1.26 so 3.13 so that is 3.13 meters that's for the X bar so that is using the 
formula. These formulas here. Formulas. How about if you don't remember the formula? There is an uh, alternative solution for this. Okay? So, uh, we have alternative solution. We will take this uh, portion here. So, we will take this portion here. Okay? So, you can see there a trapezoidal. And then, we will divide it into two regular shapes. So, we have two regular shapes there. The, the rectangular and the triangular. So, we can solve for x bar there and y bar using two areas. Okay? So, let's, re let's redraw that there. Or. 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 So this is the trapezoidal that we have. There we go. There. Now we can have this. So, let's name this as area 1. So, this is the center. And then area 2. And then this is the center. Right. Okay. So, uh, uh, this is x1. So, from the right. Okay, from the right. Right, and then from the bottom, So this is our x1, this is our x2, this is our y1, and this is our y2. And this is the Okay, how about this one here? So, from our drawing a while ago, this is our uh, uh, trapezoidal. Okay. And uh, look at this portion here. If we divide it into uh, the, the, the triangle and the rectangle, what is this portion here? So, what is the height of the triangle here? The height of the triangle is equal to what's the height of the triangle that is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 so there's another 0 0.4 here right so that's for our drawing here at the bottom so this is actually this is actually 0 0.4 and then another 0 0.4 and then this is draft minus 0 0.4 so right so as we uh, considered here this portion so this is draft minus 0 0.4 and that is equal to 1.26 minus 0 0.4 this is 0 0.86 meter and we will use that in solving for this so area let's find first the area one so area one is uh, this is seven meters 
7 meters for the base. So, 7 by 0 0.86. That is equal to 6.02 square meters. Then, area 2 is equal to 1 half base times height that is 0 0.8. So, 2.8 meters square. Therefore, area total is equal to 8.82 square meter. So, area total Y bar is equal to A1 Y1 plus A2 Y2 so, area total is 8.82 Y bar A1 is 6.02 Y1 is what's our Y1? Here is our Y1. So Y1. So Y1 is 0 0.86 divided by 2. Plus area 2 is 2.8. And then where is Y2? This is Y2. This is 0 0.86 plus uh, one third of 8. So that is uh, 0 0.86 plus one third of 0.8. So, y bar is equal to 6.02 times 0.5.86 plus 2.8 times 0.86 plus 0.8 divided by 3 and 8.82. 0.65 so 0 0.65 meter and for x bar so area total 8.82 x bar is equal to area 1 6.02 what is x1 x1 here is 7 divided by 2. So 7 divided by 2 plus area 2, 2.8. So x2 here is uh, one third of the base. So that is one third of 7. So x bar is equal to 6.02 times of 3.5 plus 2.8 times 7 over 3 and then 8.82 so 3.13 x bar is 3.13 meters so this is the same with what we uh, got here from the formula so this is the same this is the same so you can use this method as well that's for uh, location of the center of buoyancy from the bottom. Now let's go to letter B. Determine the metacentric height. So find MG. So what is the value for our MG? So this is our MG. MG. How do we get? the value for mg so uh, so we will uh, solve this geometrically for the value of mg let's redraw this portion we will redraw this and, uh, let's enlarge that so this is the surface of the barge so that's the surface of the four letter B so this is four letter B and then this is the line of action. That's the line of action. And uh, 
This is our Meta Center. And we found out that, so let's move it here. We found out that this is our, uh, the, the weight is located on the center of gravity. So G. So this is our G. And this is the location of the 75 uh, kilonewton. This is 1,225 kN. This is 75 kN. And this is the meta center. So we're looking for this, the metacentric height. And the location of our uh, 75 kN load here is 2 meters horizontally from the center so this is two meters horizontally from the center so therefore the intersection here is perpendicular so, perpendicular intersection and uh, so this is our x Name this as A. Let's name this as X1 for the G2A. our angle a while ago we were able to get the angle here at 6.52 so we will now put here the angle as 6.52 degrees this theta so we will use here the two meters That would be this line here. Let's name, let's have this as a right triangle. And the theta here is the same. Okay? This is also 6.52. 6.52 degrees. So let's name the connection here, uh, the intersection here as B. Let's name this as C and let's name this as D. Okay, so we're looking for the value of uh, MG. Okay, to find the value of MG, so So let's name this as x one x two. This distance here mm -hmm. as x two. Okay. 
Now, if we have a summation of uh, summation of moment at a here, a summation of moment at a equals zero, that is positive uh, counterclockwise, we will have twelve one two two five x one minus seventy five x two equals zero. So we have here one two two five x one equals 75 x2 let's name this as equation 1 so we need to eliminate the one of the unknown here how about sine 6.52 the triangle and x1 all over mg so x1 or mg say mg is equal to x1 over sine 6.52 so this is equation 2 then to unknown still to unknown so we will need to find the value for we will target this the find the value of x2 so having two meters here so this is uh, cd so we will target cd right so cd is equal to uh, cd is equal to two meters minus b c right so b c so we will find the value for BC. By getting the value of MB. Okay. So we can find the value of MB by so by getting MBO. Okay, so that's the process. So in order for us to get the value for mg, we need the value for x1. To get the value of x1, we need the value of x2 from this equation. To get the value of x2, we need to find the value of cd. Now to get cd, we need to find the value of BC and to get BC we need to find the value of MB and to get MB we need to find the value of MBO okay so we will find first MBO okay? so it's a long process but uh, we will arrive the, at the answer so at MBO first so MBO that is b squared over 12d 1 plus uh, tangent squared theta over 2 so that is equal to 7 squared 12 times our draft is 1.26 1 plus tangent squared 6.52 divided by 2 so mbo we will be able to find MBO equal to so 7 squared 12 times 1.26 times 1 plus uh, tangent 6.52 squared divided by 2 so 5 uh, 1.26 sorry 3.26 so MBO is 3.26 meters. Okay? Now let's find the value of MB. So MB. So we were able to get uh, where are we? So this. Okay. So we were able to get the value for MBO. Now we are targeting MB, this portion here. How do we get MB here? being uh, this is our b so okay. 
So MB. So how do we get here? Uh, MB is equal to get the total. Okay. So you will get the total here minus the distance here and then minus So, MBO, so that will be MBO plus this for the total minus the height. The height. Yeah. Okay, so that's how we get the value for MB. So, again, that is MBO plus the half here minus the total height here. So that becomes our MBO. Okay. So MBO I MB is equal to the 3.26 of MBO plus the remaining drop. So 1.26 divided by 2. And then minus the height, the height of the bars. So MB now is equal to 3.26 plus 1.26 divided by 2 minus 3.6 which is 0 0.29 meter. So, finally we were able to find MB. Next, we will get now BC. We will be able to get now BC here. So, tangent theta course so, BC over MB. So, our BC, opposite and then adjacent. So, tangent theta, so that is tangent 6.52 equals BC divided by the MB of 0.29. Therefore, BC now is equal to 0 0.03 meter. Okay. Now, we were able to get now the value for BC. Finally, we can have this triangle now for the X2. So, CB. So, this is the triangle that is involved. So this is the triangle involved here. We have x2, the theta of 6.52, and this is our uh, CB. Okay, CB is 2 meters minus the BC. Okay, so 2 meters minus BC of 0 0.03. So x2 is uh, cosine so cosine 6.52 so this is cd so 6.52 is equal to x2 divided by 2 minus 0 0.03 so x2 now is equal to 1.96 meter now, using this x2 now, we can go back to our equation 1. So, our equation 1. And then lastly, we can go to our equation 2. So, using x2 at uh, equation 1, at 1. Okay, at 1, that is 1, 2, 2, 5, x1 equals 75 times 1.96. So, x1 is equal to 75 times 1.96 over 1, 2, 2, 5 is 0.12. So, x1 is 0.12. And finally, at 2. So, our, our equation to here is the mg. So, it's very long but uh, it requires patience. So, mg now is equal to 0 0.12 times the sine of 6.52 so mg is equal to 
6.12 over sine of 6.52. 1.06. 1.06 meter. So that's for example number 5. So it's very long solution. Number 5. So that's all for this video.